Hello traders, Gary Wagner here. Just about 1045 in Honolulu, 445 in New York. It is Thursday, 30th day of August, 2018, and this is the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. We do have continued pressure in the precious metals markets with gold, platinum, and silver trading lower on the day, palladium showing some modest gains. Gold futures basis most active December, currently trading at 1205.80. That is a net change of $5.70 today. Silver also taking it on the chin, declining by well over a full percent and a half, a 24 cent decline at 14.45. And then platinum also losing about eight tenths of a percent, $6.50 cent decline at $790. The only metal in the complex to gain anything is a nominal $2.40 gain in palladium futures closing at $960.90. Now that's all in light of a fractionally higher U.S. dollar up about a tenth of a percent at 94.61. Now the big news really is the fact that there is talk about President Trump enacting and imposing $200 billion worth of tariffs next week, and that weighed heavily on the equities markets with the Standard & Poor's losing almost four-tenths of a percent at 2901. The Nasdaq Composite giving up about 21 points, a quarter percent at 8088 and the Dow Jones Industrial Average losing about 137 points at 25,986 taking all of these indices off of their respective all-time highs that were achieved yesterday. Traders, gold continues to trade under pressure, giving up almost a full half a percentage point today with December futures closing at 12.05.70. That's a net decline today of $5.80. When we take a look at our daily chart, what we can see and what we've talked about throughout this entire trading week is the fact that with the inability on a technical basis for gold to track and trade above 1218, which I believe is now a very strong level of resistance in the marketplace, we have seen a methodical decline in pricing. And traders, we saw gold's decline at the beginning of this week. This would be Monday's candle right here. And that is a point in time in which although gold pricing closed fractionally higher and traded to a high, which was just above 12.18.20, this particular area that we have earmarked as a key resistance level. And in fact, on Tuesday of this week, we actually saw gold trade well above 12.18, but then close significantly lower. Yesterday's activity, although it's a green candle, we did get a lower close from Tuesday's open, and today we had continued follow-through selling, resulting in gold trading about $6 away from that critical and key psychological support level at $1,200 per ounce. In fact, spot gold did in fact close just fractionally under $1,200 per ounce, a decline of about $7.04. Current print on the screen is $1,199.76. The article that we wrote for our opening letter today talked about how it was trading precariously close to $1,200, but holding just above that. That has changed since I wrote that letter approximately an hour and a half ago. If we see continued selling in the marketplace tomorrow and realize we do have a three day holiday coming on after that i would expect the market not only to retest 1200 to break and trade below it of course the big news in the market is the potential for trade disputes between the united states and canada and the united states and china could in fact morph into full-blown trade wars trump has come out saying that he will impose $200 billion worth of tariffs next week on China, and there is still no agreement between Canada and the United States after reaching a deal earlier this week with Mexico. We have the dollar index, which has remained 
fairly steady over the last couple of days, gaining about 12 points, currently trading at 94.64. But in terms of recent activity, we have seen a slow and methodical decline ever since the dollar index hit this top just above 96.50, and that came in in the middle of August, and it has lost approximately 2% in value as it is now tracking at 94.64. We still believe there is some potential for technical support to enter the dollar index at about 94. I have converted our daily chart into a three-day chart so that I can illustrate the activity that we have seen gold trade to over the last three days. And what we can see on this three-day candlestick is the fact that the market opened relatively at the same price point as our current level of resistance three days ago and has traded methodically to lower ground, now trading at about 1205.80. My sense is a break below $1,200, which is a key psychological level, would enable traders to move the market considerably lower. And in fact, we could see a retest of 1178. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye bye.